What's up guys, Here here, and before we get into the video, I just want to let you guys know that I am going to be doing a big grin face mask giveaway this Saturday celebrating Christmas. How you enter is, go to my YouTube channel, subscribe and turn on post notifications, then you screenshot it and go to my Discord, which is in the description of this video. After you've done that, you go to the giveaways chat and post the screenshot there. Hope to see you all there and good luck. Anyways guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to build this hard to raid starter base. So first off, you have this airlock, two armor doors if you have them. Of course, this is just what you should have placed by the time you actually have all of this. Not like straight off the bat though, of course. So you have the two armor doors, you got garage doors leading all the way back here which this would be your main loot room where right here you have all your sulfur and your boom because to get to this you have to break this all the way down to get the boxes behind them because they'd be locked and you have your main loot where you have your weapons your components meds and of course your armor and then over here to get to your TC, of course, you'd have to break all this down as well. So overall, this would take 9C4 and 7 rockets to raid to get to this right here. Then you'd have to use 4 more C4, which would be making it 13 C4, 7 rockets, and then this right here, 8 more C4. So that would make it a total of 21 C4 and 7 rockets to fully raid this through the doors. And the cheapest way to go through the walls would take 22 C4. Also, if you see these down here, you can fit a total of 12 furnaces. If you like to, you don't have to put them here. You could have nine, but you're gonna wanna drop these down so that you can actually fit furnaces in the space. So of course you can put tier three, tier one, tier two right here. Put research tables, you can put whatever you want in these like corners and the squares, it's up to you. Anyways, no more talk, let's get to the base build. Sorry for the change in scenery guys, where I was building, I would not be left alone by that child, as you guys can see these clips. Yo, can you teach me how to fly a minicopter? No. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get straight into this. So, it's not very difficult for this game, not gonna lie. Place these wrong. But, um, you gotta place these high so you can actually place a foundation staircase. And there's gonna be some lowered foundations right here. And gotta place a normal foundation here. Lowered foundation right here. Another high one. Then these go like this, forward, forward, forward. And this goes like this, just like that, and then you got this one. Now that you've done your little bit of a footprint of a base, you want to place a doorway right here, and then place a wall frame here, here, and here. You can just go ahead and place all your wall frames just like this. Just following your pathway. All the way to here, which right here you'll have some furnaces, so I suggest you place twig right here. But the rest of this is just going to be some um, honeycomb. Including, oh, I forgot to add a square here. Yeah. My bad. Um, yeah, the rest of this right here, just all honeycomb, so you can just go ahead and block it all off. And then block it like this. Except for that, that's not honeycomb, that's where your TC should be. Put this here like this. Jump up up here. And go ahead, lock all these off, just like this. Now, you're ready for the next part, which would be flinging all the walls. Now, this is definitely not the hardest part, just a quick little build. That in this entire room right here should be two metal, except for the TC room, which 
is actually right here. I don't know why I built it over here. Oh, this, you know that. TC room should be 100% high quality metal. Then go ahead and add your half wall. Upgrade it and you want to go ahead and get your tool covered. Once you've gotten that, you're just going to want to place it right here. Make sure you get some code locks on it so nobody can just get into your base. Then add a roof, upgrade it, add a low wall, upgrade that as well. Now it's an unlootable TC. After that, you're going to add some this here and here. And make sure these are actually high wall, just for some extra strength. You want to add your wall here. Just make it high quality metal so you're at 196 high quality metal. Now you can just place the stone here by like making it sheet metal so they can't just raid down. And you can make this right here. High quality sheet metal. I just prefer sheet metal though. Now that you've done that, go ahead and grab your. Now that you've done all that, let's just go ahead and finish off this base with all the walls and stuff that it's missing. Make sure you upgrade this to sheet metal and all of this around here. Oh, whoops, almost forgot. This here. So, all here. Alright, now if this entire room is sheet metal, including this. Um, you know that you've done good. You can upgrade more than this, but you don't really don't have to. Now you can start adding your boxes and stuff, and you're gonna need a shelf for this um, bottom layer. I mean, you could also make a homemade shelf, but it just won't work as good. It's up to you. Gotta place it down like this. Make sure that these boxes are over here are like a little bit further out than these so you can actually like get down and reach them and then you can go ahead and craft 12 furnaces because that's the max amount you can actually fit in the space or at least down in these little holes you can probably fit a ton in the space if you want to but we're not going to do that I do recommend this for just like a starter, like I was saying. If you do this like for a actual base, you might as well just be a solo or a duo. I'd recommend solo players actually use this though. It's pretty it's pretty good for a solo, but other than that, I don't know man. You'd kinda be running your luck a little bit. Especially on high pop servers and high X servers. But before you actually place your bases down in here, I'm going to go ahead and place your garage um, door. Make sure you place these actually facing that way. So you can actually fit all these in here. Because if you don't, you're not going to be able to fit them all. These can stick through a little bit, but just not too much. Or they'll be able to loot them. So now after that, if you do have armor doors, you're going to want to go ahead and grab two of them. Plop them down just like I do. So now that you have an airlock. Now you're going to want to grab your garage doors. Grab a lot of them. So you can place one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Right so you have a total of seven garage doors and two armor doors. Now, like I was saying, you can just go ahead and remove this. Now you have your TC. Your boxes should be up here. I forgot to place them. Um, make sure you lock these. I'm not going to lock them because it's just going to take a little bit more time to do that. Otherwise, you're going to want to get your ladder. 
back if you can't place your ladder over here in the corner like this go ahead because you can actually get down through here a lot easier make sure you can look at your boxes all right now that you've done all that you're just going to want to make sure that you've optimized like as much space as possible meaning you know tier threes and stuff Like I was saying, you can fit tier three and other things in here. Like you can get a here, here you can get a workbench or a research table. It's really up to you. Some extra furnaces if you'd like. I'll let you guys do your own things with this space. I don't know. You could put a, you know, like a put a giant painting frame. Who knows? You know, it's all up to you. Alright, well, yeah, other than that, all you gotta do now is add the, on top of the base, which will come out to here. Make sure you just fill these in, just so they can't splash damage. And also, make sure you get all of this covered as well. If you don't have this covered, it's just gonna be way much easier, so, you know. Block all this off. There you go. We are done with this little base. Actually, no, I just forgot. <laughs> this right here, too. Alright, now we are done with this little starter base, little solo duo, whatever you'd like it to be. But uh, yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.